G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here at the Smart Energy Council's Expo, Conference and Expo in Sydney. And I'm here with Dean from Goodwin. Now, wow, you've done inverters for a long time, but I'm standing in front of a panel. What's going on here? So we've just launched our lightweight commercial panel into the market today, Glenn. It's not there to compete against the regular panels on the market. It's more to provide a solution for those rooms with structural integrity issues. And, um, and at only five or six kilos, it really provides that lightweight. What, this solution. is five kilos? That's right. This monster? It is, it wow. is. And it's a little bit different than everything on the market at the moment. Um, it's not as flexible as some panels on the market, lightweight panels, because we've actually got a thin film 1.6 millimetres of glass there, which actually provides a lot more hail-proof resistance. So this meets the test standards of IEC 61730 for silicon modules. So it's on the CEC list. Absolutely. Right? So it's an improved product, but it only weighs five kilos. Look, as an installer, carrying panels these days is getting harder and harder. 20, 25, some of those monsters are like nearly 30 kilos now. Exactly. And this is five. I can put like five under each arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so easy to handle. And, um, and we have a couple of different fixing methods as well. So one of them is that you can glue it onto the roof uh, with Sikaflex. Um, and also we've actually got a bracket so you can actually mount it and you don't require any railing as well. Wow, that's so cool. So, Dean, um, you've said it's not trying to compete with existing uh, solar panels because it's more of a solution for problem roofs. What are some of those problem roofs? So, not just commercial roofs, but also residential. Um, you know, pergolas, patios, these sorts of things as well. And, um, and another benefit is really not having to penetrate the roof, which provides a real advantage as well, especially with waterproofing. Right, so how do you attach them to the roof? So you've got two different ways. One of them, as I said, is, um, is with Sikaflex. So it's, um, it, it's a glue that's rated properly and um, you can simply just glue it on. Or the other way is, um, is with a bracket. And, um, and as I mentioned before, you place that bracket um, on, the, on the clip lock roof and, um, and then you literally don't need to glue it down and you also don't need railing to go along with that. So no rails? No. My gosh, right. you're making life so easy. Lightweight yeah. panel, no rails, a tube full of Sikaflex with a, you know, an automatic propellant on it. So you're just going to walk along and go zip, zip, zip. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So um, it, it's, it's really, really simple. Um, and one of the benefits is that this is not an OEM product. You know, we're manufacturing all of this ourselves from our good weed factory. So I guess, you know, a couple of years ago, we wanted to diversify. So not only manufacturing inverters, but now manufacturing um, batteries and um, EV chargers lightweight commercial panels. Uh, one other product which I'll probably talk to you about later is we've actually got uh, an integrated solar roof tile as well um, that we're selling through the builder's market. And um, uh, the major benefit is just the settings. It looks a lot better. It fully integrates into your roof structure. And um, yeah, I look forward to talking to you about it as well. Oh, uh, you're covering everything. Is there an EV car coming along? Um, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, but look, we've got our seven kilowatt EV charger single phase. Wow. We've got our 22 kilowatt EV charger three phase, and we're also working on the commercial as well. Well, why don't we look at those other products? They sound great. Absolutely. So Dean, you mentioned you've got a new battery. This is it. It is. So we, we launched this a few months ago. This is our Lynx high voltage battery. It's stackable, a little bit different than our low voultage battery. Our low voltage battery is 5.4 kilowatt hours. You can add up to six of those together. Whereas this one here goes up in increments of 3.3. Okay. And then, so you can put up to five of these modules in one stack, which will give you up to 16.1 kilowatt hours. And um, and you can actually add eight of those towers together. So so you can go up to 131 kilowatt hours if you really need. So from 3.3 to 181 kilowatt hours. 131. Sorry, 131. Yeah, wow. that's right. That is awesome. So being a high voltage battery, what advantages does that give you? Well, I guess firstly for the installer, you know, we tend to see that the installers really love the, the ease of installation, um, you know, dealing with smaller cables, six more cables rather than 25, um, gives them a big advantage. Also having the stackable solution allows them to fit more kilowatt hours in a small, smaller space. And, um, and it, gives, it gives the homeowner a little bit more flexibility as well in terms of adding on later. Yeah, one size doesn't fit all. Exactly. And this gives you the ultimate flexibility for to Domestic, what about for CNI? Would you, I mean, you can go up to 131 kilowatt hours. You can go for 131 kilowatt hours, and after this, I'll actually show you a, a bigger battery we've actually got specifically for commercial um, and a hybrid to pair with that. But one of the advantages of this battery is that we have a lot of different uh, hybrid inverters you can pair it with. 
So previously we offered a, a three phase five to 10 kilowatt hybrid. Um, we've now got a 15, 20, 25 and 30 kilowatt hybrid that we've rated at 29.9. And we've also got our single phase high voltage hybrid solutions as well that you can pair it with. Um, and as you know, we obviously, um, we're a licensed partner for GE. So with our GE hybrid 10 kilowatt, you can also pair it with this battery as well. I was going to ask that one as well. So I love the GE 10 kilowatt. It's a great hybrid. Exactly. Yeah, it's all MPVTs. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that also has some benefits for our distributors as well, because if they're stocking this battery, they have essentially more clients that they can move it with as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one battery we will. That's it. I mean, it really is the move. High voltage gives you so much advantage. And like you say, with cable size, your yeah. protection equipment is smaller, and the fact that it can work with three phase inverters. Efficiently, it's exactly. a big plus. Exactly. We, we see um, a large number of installers sort of moving towards the high voltage for that reason. Um, but our low voltage solution is really, really cost effective, um, especially when you pair it with our ESG2 hybrid inverter um, that has a lot of functionality that the others don't on the market. But as I said, this one has a lot of advantages as well. Let's go look at the CNI units. So Dean, you're standing in front of the CNI solution. We've just launched this commercial battery into the market around three months ago. Um, previously, as you would have seen with our high voltage battery, we can stack that up to 131 kilowatt hours. Um, this one's really designed for um, bigger solutions and applications. So we start at 101 kilowatt hours and we can go to all the way up to over 450 kilowatts. So in, in this battery cabinet here, we can start at 101, we can go to 156. And then you can parallel up to three of these cabinets together. So, Dean, what sort of uh, PCE or inverters can you connect to this unit? So, we actually connect our BTC or our ETC hybrid inverter with this. Um, the ETC is effectively a 50 kilowatt hybrid inverter. The BTC is effectively a 50 kilowatt AC coupled solution. So, come with me and I'll show you. So, Dean, what's this? This beautiful black box here. This is our 50 kilowatt hybrid inverter, also 50 kilowatt AC coupled solution. And this one is primary, primarily for those commercial applications um, whereby we can't use our high voltage hybrid inverters that go up to 30 kilowatts. So as you can see here, it's a lot more industrial and it really is geared towards that large commercial, even small utility scale market. So 50 kilowatts and what sort of battery voltage can you go up to? We're at a thousand volts in port. Um, can you parallel multiple units to get more AC power? Good question. On this generation, actually, you can't parallel. We've got another version coming in a couple of months, which is actually a hundred kilowatt version, and you can actually parallel up to ten of those together. So right now, at our headquarters in China, um, we've got a container solution with ten of these in it. So we've got a megawatt. And, um, and we'll have that into the Australian market in a few months. Great. I'm thinking of an application already, so that's really good to hear. Talk more about that. An EVSE, as they call it. Uh, what is it? So we've got our electric vehicle charger here, Glenn. We've got a couple of different solutions. We've got a single phase 7 kilowatt, uh, and we've also got a three phase 11 and 22 kilowatt. And is this the design of both of them? It is. They, they look exactly the same. and. Um, and obviously a lot of people don't have three phase house, uh, homes like myself. Um, so single phase, seven kilowatts, and um, we provide the cable um, standard free of charge with a six meter cable length. Wow, because um, I've got quite a few EVs at my place and charges and buying the cable alone is another $250. Exactly. And initially we were um, thinking of making an optional extra, but we know everyone pretty much needs a cable. So we decided to include it free of charge rather than a five meter cable, we included a six. and um, Type 2 compatibility, so fairly universal. And um, yeah, we're really, really excited to launch this product. I like the integrated mount as well for, to, to, to coil it up because like my experience is you get the EVSE on the wall and, and the cable's lying on the ground. Yeah. Exactly. It's, re it's really easy. Um, not only wall mount, but we also have a pole mount option as well, um, which is a couple of hundred dollars extra. And um, we're, we're, we've partnered with a couple of other um, companies such as Open Homes, um, Renovate or Rebuild. So we've done a couple of um, television segments recently um, promoting our EV charger, which is great. And um, there's also uh, some other significant advantages. So obviously what we're, what we're really trying to promote here is our eco smart home solutions. So if you've got our hybrid inverter, you've got our battery, and now you've got our EV charger, 
it can all be visualized via our SIMS monitoring platform. So this is integrated into SIMS? Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. And you've also got the ability that if you want to simply charge your EV just from your solar, you can also program that as well so that you're not actually paying for anything from the grid. You've got that. Solar charging. So you've kind of got everything covered from uh, solar panels to generate the free electricity, uh, convert it with an awesome hybrid inverter store in your battery and control loads like your EV charger. Exactly. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be able to provide our customers um, really that holistic solution so that they don't have to go anywhere else. They know that if they come to Goodweek, we've got the solution um, for all of their needs. I think we should just call you smart home systems, full stop. You, you cover so much. That's great. Thank, thanks a lot, Dean. Thanks, Clint. Appreciate it. Good on you, mate.